Hey, what's up everybody? Adam with DIY Agency and today we're gonna review Spy, which is a neat little tool that allows you to spy on other people's ads depending on keywords or company name or what, whatever you're looking to do on multiple platforms like Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and the like. So it's been used and recommended by a guy named Neil Patel. If you're familiar with him, then uh, you probably are already understand exactly what I'm talking about, but he's very big in the SEO game, um, search en engine optimization. So um, a very big name in the internet world. And uh, again, if he's recommending it, it's not too bad. Um, there are about 500,000 customers already, so people are using this. Um, and I'm gonna get you into the back end here, but just a couple different com types of business that, that may be interested in this. Uh, media buying, uh, you know, drop shippers, e-coms, ad agencies obviously, affiliate marketers, all good fits for this. Gonna go into the basics real quick. So there's, I, I think, nine different uh, platforms that they, they let you go through. Again, um, it's gonna be Facebook, Instagram, Google, YouTube, Twitter. Um, those are kind of the keys for me. It's been around for about five years. And most importantly, we'll start talking about price in a second, but uh, they do have a free plan. And there are a lot of companies out there that do offer this. Um, this one, uh, their, their, their free plan obviously is free. They have a $9 a month plan. I'm using the pro plan, which I'll show you in a second. Um, and uh, really, it, it's, it's really about trying to find the best use of this platform, uh, this, this software, for your particular needs. Um, so let's talk about pricing real quick. So it depends how aggressively you're going to be using a tool like this. If you're going to be using it every day or if you're going to be using it uh, you know, once a month, um, that will kind of help you decide which plan you're looking for. They do have a free plan. They have a $9 a month plan. Um, but if you're interested in trying out the pro plan, um, which I do recommend, you know, try it out for three days for a buck. And uh, if you like it, then you can obviously decide which direction you want to go in. Um, unless you're a super heavy user, a big agency, I wouldn't necessarily recommend the VIP enterprise plan, but uh, you know, obviously it's out there and uh, you know, worth, worth taking a look at. So you know, the pro plan gives you uh, unlimited searches on a daily basis. Uh, it allows you to track a, a decent amount of uh, you know, ads and uh, you know, uh, do downloads and the like. And we'll get into to how this is used, but I just kind of wanted to give you an idea of uh, you know, what that plan is. So um, again, as you can see, I'm a pro plan user and uh, let's talk about why we would use this. So let's start with the ad spy tool. And as we can see here, there are a lot of different um, ways to search. Um, what we can look for is, uh, you know, search by a keyword, by an advertiser, by a, a domain, a URL, uh, a fan page, whatever you're looking to do. Um, it gives you a lot of different choices. Um, and of course, what type of site you're looking to search for, if you're looking specifically in the e-com niche, if you're looking for Shopify sites that are promoting certain things, or if you're looking for WordPress sites, Wix sites, um, you can really search a lot of different ways by site type, and of course, platform. Now, platform is important to me because I want to understand who's advertising on what platform, because that may help me understand whether or not I should be on that platform, or more importantly, if I should be looking at other platforms that are underutilized. So, uh, an example of that is if we are promoting a product and we find that product um, on Facebook and there's a ton of people advertising for it on Facebook, that tells us one of two things. Either it's a great, well it tells us two things. One, it's a great place to be advertising because there are a lot of people advertising there. But it also might tell us that it's a little bit congested at the time. So we may want to consider utilizing another platform. And so if I see a ton of people on Facebook, but I don't see a lot of ads for that same product on YouTube or Instagram um, or Twitter, it may give me some suggestions as to, hey, maybe I should be promoting this product here and try and test out that blue ocean. Obviously, it's great. We want to be where people are advertising and have a success, but it also gives us an idea to split test and say, hey, we know 30 advertisers are promoting this product on Facebook, but nobody's promoting it on YouTube or TikTok. Maybe we should create an ad and test that out and see what the results are and, of course, compare versus Facebook. So with this, what we're also going to be able to do is check, you know, which areas of the country and the world that we want to be advertising in. Um, it gives you obviously a lot of different choices and you can choose by country, which we'll do. And we can choose by language, which obviously is important to me. Um, there are suggestions of, you know, how many likes you can sort by um, marketing objectives, um, you know, landing page types. I'm not going to really get into that stuff. I'm really looking just to find out who's doing it and what they're promoting with. Um, and we can search by date, meaning how many um, 
who's been advertising over the past seven days, 30 days, 90 days. I like to use 90 days, three months. That usually gives you a pretty good feel. Um, you can also uh, do 30 days. I don't like to necessarily do seven day searches because anybody can be put, putting something up in the past seven days and not really getting a lot of good quality feedback. Um, you're obviously gonna test for about seven days and if it's complete failure, then you're gonna take it down. Um, what we want to see is something that's been running for 30 days or more in my opinion but if you can see something that's been running for 90 days it's even more uh, more effective so what we're going to look for is once we decide on a keyword or search um, you know a, an ad creative concept uh, by advertiser what we're going to be looking to do is evaluate the ads that are up there and what I mean by that is we're going to look at the image we're going to look at the video we're going to look at the content um, that's being promoted and get some idea started from there, but also see kind of how they compare with the other ads. And again, we can just check by different types of, uh, you know, different types of platforms. So if I'm, I'm looking for a sp specific keyword, I can see who's advertising where and how effectively they're doing it. So let's talk about a specific keyword. Um, you know, it, you can do this either as a business owner or an uh, affiliate marketer. I'm gonna take this as a, as a guy that's gonna kind of promote to um, to dentists, for example. If I'm looking as a dentist uh, and I'm gonna call up dentist and say, hey, look, um, I can help you promote Invisalign or uh, you know uh, dental implants or something like that, I can use this service, uh, th this search. So we'll look at Invisalign and try and get some ideas of who's advertising and, uh, and, and where. Now, one thing I would like to find out more about is um, if I could, I'd love to be able to kind of see where specifically in a town people are utilizing this service. Um, but basically, this is good for just kind of spying on uh, people. If we know it, they're in our area and we know that they're advertisers, let's, let's, let's search them out and figure out what they're saying. So, um, so if I'm looking at Invisalign ads, really what I would want to do is first kind of look at just Facebook ads and see what people are typing in. Um, this is obviously Invisalign UK and Ireland, which I'm not sure why that's showing up. Um, frankly, in uh, in the U.S. search, but you know, we look at Dr. J Jeremy Kurtz, we look at Invisalign themselves, and you know, you can read the ad text, you can kind of see what they're promoting just by clicking on it. Um, you can get some good information here, and uh, really, it's just saying there's one version of this ad. Um, it's had a ton of impressions. Um, it's been running for 179 days, and they assign a popularity score, which is between zero and a thousand. It really just tries to give you an idea comparably um, quick to see kind of what kind of engagement these ads are getting so the higher closer to a thousand the better um, so really if we're looking around we can see kind of which ads quickly have high popularity scores and which ones don't and another thing that I always trying to try and look for is what ads are running for a while have been running for a long time you know the longer that something has been running the more likely they're seeing a return on their investment so again, something that's been running since uh, December for me uh, versus just starting up, you know, uh, January 24th is going to show me that that ad has had some success. Um, whether the popularity score here is being utilized to, to promote that or not, I want to kind of just see ads that are uh, that are having success. Now, if we just want to take an overall concept here. Um, who do you think is the target market? Um, you know, obviously we see a kid and a woman. We see a woman. We see a woman. We see a guy. We see a woman, woman, woman. Um, again, woman, woman, woman. So we start to learn. You know, if we're going to start from scratch for an advertiser, we get a really good feel that they're promoting. Most of these people are having success promoting to women, not only just women, but kind of um, middle-aged women. And so what we see is they're actually showing either the Invisalign, um, you know, uh, mouthpiece. Or they're showing again relatively, you know, 25 to 45 year old women. Um, you know, occasionally we'll see the actual dentist, but even then they're still trying to promote, you know, who the audience is. So that'll give you a good feel um, if you're looking to promote uh, for a, as an agency for a local business. But let's talk about products specifically. So as an affiliate marketer, what you'd be looking at is, let's just say, uh, you know, we, we are utilizing ClickBank, for example, and, uh, you know, staying in the dental niche, uh, we look at ProDenim. So we'll go back and we'll just type in ProDenim. And we'll see all these Facebook ads, again, promoting ProDentum, or however it's pronounced. Um, so again, what we can look at is a lot of these people are kind of utilizing um, you know, 
different types of things that are either talking about baking soda, which it must be very similar to, um, or the actual product. Some of these pictures, um, you know, go a little just about smiles, bad smiles to grab your uh, grab your you know uh, attention. Um, what I would think is that again, you're going to be looking at the same uh, same type of person um, that's going to be interested. So let's look at another top offer. Now this is a diet plan offer. So again, we're going to probably be thinking women right from the start. Um, again, Alpaline. Um, we're going to just look at Alpaline's actual uh, ad. Um, there's going to be a number of different things that are going to obviously talk about women and weight and the like, detox, and uh, somehow we've gotten some, they're doing a hair thing, I guess it makes your hair look better. Um, but these are all Facebook ads. So let's, you know, I, I, I'm on YouTube right now. What do we see on, on uh, YouTube? So you're going to see the actual ads that are running on YouTube. And you can just click. newly discovered ice hack is the secret to rapid and sustained fat loss. It has helped thousands of men. You can watch what the ads look like, what the, you know, basically this is a terrible ad in my opinion. Um, it's actually being run by newhealthtrends.com. Uh, for some reason, it, it's, it's brand new, obviously, um, and it probably won't last that long, but it has a lot of impressions. But anybody can do like a, you know, a voiceover ad. What I would expect is that we would find something. If you're over 30 and struggling to control weight, it's incredibly important that you stop what you're doing and listen up. What I'm about to tell you will help change your life. I mean, these are uh, these are just really bad ads. So what I would think is, if you can get yourself a uh, a spokesperson model, or uh, you know, even do it yourself if you're a female, um, or that you know, something that's uh, somebody that's looking to promote this, um, any kind of personal integration would be great um, you know obviously we want to show the success of a product but I think that uh, you know sometimes something like this video right here would draw a little bit more attention um, and again having a non um, you know voiceover uh, having an actual voice might be helpful rather than a computer generated voice might be really really successful um, there doesn't seem to be any ads for TikTok. So again, this is something where I would want to try and take advantage of utilizing this ad spy tool to go and uh, you know promote on YouTube or TikTok as opposed to just Facebook. And again, we can use these scripts that are already out there. Um, you know, go again, go into like a Chat GPT and kind of rewrite a script if we don't know how to write a script from the start and see which ones are getting um, a lot of impressions, which ones are getting a lot of engagement. Um, it looks like a lot of these are kind of brand new and uh, not getting a ton of, uh, of, of you know eight days, one day, um, a lot of. A lot of brand new stuff. So I would look at something like this where it's been around for a little bit longer and try and mimic that ad. So let's speak about creating ads. If I'm not sure what I want to do and I know kind of what the keyword is that I'm looking for, um, something that they do help with is a thing called their ad ideas uh, tool. And uh, you know what it will do is kind of look at uh, you know Facebook and kind of use, show you kind of the, the, the words that are being used all over the place when discussing this actual uh, you know keyword and so to me it's a very helpful um, thing if I'm looking to find out what I should be integrating into the script into blog posts or in the video so that I'm not only just getting touching on the right words that are that are being used by people but I'm also showing you know um, Google or YouTube that these are the right words to be utilizing for for this particular weight loss product so as you can see we did see that you know the, the product is itself is going to be the, the key core word um, weight loss was big we saw that they were actually promoting something to do with hair so you know metabolism uh, you know uh, clinical uh, you know I would look for for words like that um, that are really going to be um, important to to utilize revolutionary is a good word. Um, ingredients, obviously, we want to talk about, but things that are that are relevant to the actual product might be helpful in finding this. And again, what what it does is just kind of shows you all the the head, um, you know, the, the the titles, the 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 text, the descriptions, all that stuff. Um, it, it helps really just pull from all those quickly, so we can see what ads are uh, are actually being run and utilized, um, and, and what keywords they're utilizing in those ads. 
So in summary, this is a, a great little tool for figuring out what's being run by your competitors in the, the, the local niches or in the, uh, you know, if you're, if you're doing a specific product. It's a great tool to utilize and try out these different platforms. Um, it's not a perfect tool by any sense of the imagination, um, but it is pretty effective and uh, will help you uh, to really just dig deeper into a niche and see what the ads are that are running. Um, sometimes it's, uh, it's difficult to kind of figure out how to get started. And so this is the best, uh, one of these tools like this is really good way to get started in kind of figuring out what's working, where it's working, and what you should kind of be mimicking to try and make sure you have quick success, whether you're working for an agency or if you're running an affiliate marketing platform or a program where you're just trying to drive traffic for a specific product or service. This will really give you a good head start into what other people are having success with. So if you've had any experience with this tool, please drop a comment or if there's any tool that you like or recommend I'd love to hear from you so leave a comment below and uh, if you did get any value from this please hit that like button um, or hit that subscribe button and until uh, next time thanks for watching